What's up, everybody? We alive. Yet another day above soil. I'm not going to front with y'all. It's been a minute since I baked for y'all. It's been a minute since I cooked for y'all. A lot, a lot of stuff has happened. And it was real busy in the world of Drew Spriggs because I was moving from New York back to my home state of Maryland. Lots of stuff happened. And as y'all could see, I cut the ribbon with my mother and owner of Bella Chic to our shop. So that's been going on. I've got another job outside of YouTube and outside of LDX. So that's also been going on. And I've just been super busy. But now that I found some downtime, I'm going to bake for y'all. So if y'all want to cook with me, go right ahead. Get your spatula. Get your standing mixer. Get everything that y'all need. Because we's about to burn. All right, y'all. I'm going to show you the ingredients that y'all going to need for your peanut butter, chocolate, pound cake. But before we dive in, I must remind y'all to wash your hands. The food that we make within the kitchen is blessed. Therefore, y'all gonna need to wash your hands. And if y'all gonna go in that kitchen with them nasty hands, I'm sorry, but that's just nasty. But anyway, these are the ingredients y'all gonna need. From now on, y'all, I'm just gonna be upfront and honest with y'all. I'm gonna make my own buttermilk from now on. So you're gonna need a cup of whole milk, not 1%, 2% milk, whole milk. And you're gonna need a tablespoon of white distilled vinegar. You could use lemons or limes, but because this is a, a peanut butter chocolate cake, you may wanna make something with more neutrality. So I am using some distilled white vinegar. You're gonna need three cups of flour, three cups of sugar, half cup of creamy peanut butter, a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, not imitation, pure vanilla, because imitation is not real vanilla. You're gonna need four tablespoons of cacao. I'm using the cacao that I had from Oswego. Three sticks of butter, room temperature. I got some Reese's cups that I'm gonna chop up, and then I'm gonna make a chocolate ganache with some heavy cream and some semi-sweet chocolate chips. Six large eggs, room temperature. A tablespoon of baking powder, and that is that. And, oh yeah, did I say salt? You're gonna need just a touch of fine sea salt. And yeah, those are the ingredients that y'all gonna need for your peanut butter chocolate cake. All right, before we start mixing this cake, first we thing we're gonna do is make our buttermilk. So for buttermilk, you would need one cup of whole milk, not 1%, 2%. You're gonna need one cup of whole milk with a cup of milk. Here is the one tablespoon of distilled white vinegar. Put it in there, we're gonna mix it in, and we're gonna let it, we're gonna sit, let it sit there and burn it. It's gonna take about 10 minutes or so. You're gonna make sure that your butter, your three sticks of butter is room temperature. I threw these in the microwave for about 10, 12 seconds. You don't want them to melt, because that's just, the consistency of the butter would be off. So you're gonna need three sticks of butter room temperature, and you're gonna let your eggs sit in some hot water for about three, four minutes. Okay, this cake is a tad bit different than a lot of my other cakes because one of the main flavors of this cake will be your peanut butter. My bad. So with the three sticks of butter, I'm gonna put a half cup of creamy peanut butter in with the butter. And I'm just eyeballing it because I don't wanna make my mixing cup, my um, measuring cup all, all dirty again. This, like, like I said, peanut butter is one of those things that's really hard to clean off. You gotta <laughs> really whack it off your spatula. And what we're fixing to do 
is we're going to cream this together. We're going to mix it together a little bit. You know what? A little bit more peanut butter. A little bit of peanut butter won't go, won't hurt. So, okay, you gotta get your paddle. And we're gonna mix it all in before we have the sugar. Our peanut butter and butter is mixed in. Should look a little something like this. Our next step, we're gonna add our three cups of white granulated sugar to the mix. Now, okay, this next step is really important. When you are creaming your butter and sugar in your pound cakes, you're gonna need to take your time and make sure that all of the granules of sugar have mixed in with your butter. If you are rushing to make your pound cake, it's not gonna come out right, it's gonna come out gummy, and it's gonna come out looking undone. So, ladies and gentlemen, do not, do not rush this next part. So we're just gonna go ahead and mix this in. Start slow. Start slow, just like this. And then when it's nice, white, and fluffy, it's good to go, and I'll show you the consistency afterwards. When I mean fluffy, this is the consistency that I mean. This is fluffy. Basically, if your sugar and butter mixture is not like, like this, it ain't gonna be ready. This is ready. So to this, we're gonna put our eggs, flour mixture in there, slowly, gradually. We're gonna start off with one egg. Glue one egg. And with our flour mixture, since we're using cacao, I went ahead and that mix and sifted this mixture together. So I took four tablespoons of flour, all-purpose flour out of this, and I added four tablespoons of cacao. And then I also put in a teaspoon of this baking powder and then a quarter teaspoon of salt. So we're gonna put a little bit of this flour in here and then we're gonna mix it in gradually. And you gotta remember to mix in the sides so that you get all the bits and pieces of your cake in it. This is what the batter should look like after you mix all your eggs and the flour cacao mixture in. Look at that, don't that look luscious? Mm-hmm. So now we're gonna put in some of the mixes. You're gonna need your cup of buttermilk. You're also gonna need a tablespoon pure vanilla extract. And once again, don't use that imitation vanilla extract because it's not real vanilla. And if anybody has any rebuttals on that, let me know. So once you got your buttermilk and your vanilla extract in your mix, go ahead and throw it in, make it go for a little spin. Oh boy, I could smell the chocolate in the peanut butter. But just look at how luscious. <laughs> look at that batter though. Mmm. Mm, I'm so excited. So now we're gonna we're gonna transport this to our butt pan. I already got it greased and floured up. We got this mixed batter. Now we're fixing to put it into those greased and floured butt pan. Now that your batter is in the pan, shake it around real good. Tap the bottom. So that way you get air, all the air pockets 
out of the cake. Since the oven that I'm using now cooks a little bit quicker, we're gonna put this cake in a 325 degree oven for an hour, 30 minutes. Let's get cracking. All right, y'all. It's time to take this out the oven. We're going to wait for this one half pint of heavy cream to be scolding, not boiling, scolding. And then we're going to mix half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips in it. Here's the moment of truth. Will our peanut butter chocolate cake stand or will it fall? Whew. It stands. Now it's time to dress it up. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm not going to put glaze on this. I'm going to put some of this luscious chocolate ganache on top. Here we go. We're going to put it on the side. We're going to let it drip. Ooh, yes, honey. Mm. And if it doesn't drip the right way, Help it along. I'm probably gonna help it along with the with the spoon in a minute. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Wow. Mm -hmm. I hope people have a good dentist because they gonna have a field day on some people's teeth. I'm just saying. That's it for the ganache. I'm not gonna overload it with ganache like I did with the cheesecake. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, y'all could go ahead and go back to my peanut butter chocolate cheesecake. I'll put the ganache all up on it. Probably put too much on it back then. I didn't say it's 2020, but hey. Now we're gonna put the Reese's cups on it. So before the chocolate ganache hardens, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna salt bay this with the Reese's. <laughs> yes. We're gonna put it all up on this cake. I want to put the Reese's cups on top of the cake so they know, hey, it's got peanut butter and chocolate. There we have it. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you a peanut butter chocolate pound cake. When I go to my mother's house, we gonna cut it open. So before we part ways and leave, I have the relatively important question to ask of y'all. If you went to sleep tonight and you ain't wake up the next day, would you truly be satisfied with the life that you lived? If your answer is no, then it's most definitely time to do some soul searching. Think about some of the changes that you need to make with your life. I say this because there's a lot of things within our society that discriminate. Death, however, does not discriminate. I want to thank each and every one of y'all for watching my content. 
this is your first, second, third, or whatever time, hit that subscribe button. We're still greatly on the road to 500 subscribers. Be a member of the LDX family and meet me there. We're, it's a climb, y'all. It's a climb. Within the description, I'm going to leave y'all my Instagram page, my mother's Instagram page, and the recipe for this peanut butter chocolate pound cake. At this moment in time, I'm thinking about killing the Etsy page because the shop is on fire. So we're making a killing at the shop and it's to the point where we're about to close the Etsy page and actually have our own website. So be on the lookout for that. So as always, I leave y'all with much love, good spirits and vibes. Until next time, I see y'all later. I'm out.